We are looking at some kind of reverse engineered military technology, in my opinion, being that it's so close to the military stations I just previously stated here. People are online saying, wow, did E.T. come home? Uh, Bethany Crank says, I can't believe it. And Natalie Elisa says, that's scary. So people are on board that right now, whatever was captured in these photographs, is it one of ours? To me, it looks almost like a reflection of an iPhone or a smartphone uh, sitting on someone's lap face down where you're, you're just getting the light, you know, sort of coming out of the edges of the phone and reflecting off of the windshield. That's what it looks like to me. Either that or some sort of a reflection from coming inside the car. Uh, otherwise, this would be a massive penis! Good evening, folks. Welcome. I'm Alien Audit. Yes, Tyler did take a shot at third phase of Moon, and I like it. Um, you know something? What has annoyed me the most about this is the fact that I didn't get a chance to do the debug before he did. Um, now, I was going to do this literally the day after it came out. Gordon Hamilton sent me uh, the video and said, have you seen this? And he, he thinks it's not a phone. It's actually the ceiling light in a Land Rover. Now, I put a challenge out there. If anybody can get together and do the same effect, either with a phone or the ceiling light of a Land Rover or BMW, it could be a BMW, um, send it to me on Twitter and I'd love to see it. I'll put it out there if it is that. But it could be a mobile phone. One thing to show, it's definitely not um, a UFO in the sky. It is 100% a reflection. And the annoying thing about this is third phase of moon, no, it's a reflection, but they put it out on the channel anyway. So my question is, why would you do that? You, you're vastly approaching 1 million subscribers, but yet you go and give them that. I'm sure you guys are gonna be impressed just as much as I am when we're looking at these photographs possibly military TR-3B reverse engineered technology that we're looking at. Now UFO of interest has made an amazing gift of this and you can you can see that it's the same angle on both images. Now if you're moving in a car and there's a UFO in the sky it's going to change angle no matter what I mean and you can see that these are totally different images. Now Blake and Brent know this they know for a fact they are not stupid they know that that is a fake now they do say in the video uh, i think brent says that it could be a reflection i'm wondering could it be a reflection of inside the cab of his car reflecting on to his window shield but hill states that uh he saw this with his naked eye and you would think he'd be able to basically discern if this was a reflection in his car window the difference between what security team 10 did there and what third phase did is security team 10 reported the story and then and he just put it god it, it, it wasn't his, his main video it was just a snippet in there which says to me that he thought you know what guys fuck you have that <laughs> and he then ends it by saying that this is in his opinion a reflection so you know, I don't know. I've had beef with Security Team Ten in the past, and but you know what? If if you if you actually giving UFO news as being real news and debunking what is shite, then in my book, um, I did think naively for a little bit that third phase were changing the ways. But when you put this out, boys, on your channel that's got half a million subscribers, what does that say about your subscribers? These subscribers are going to grow up, and I don't mean that as in the eight years old, well, they might be. Um, I mean, they're going to mature in terms of UFO ufology. They're going to learn more. Uh, when they when they look at other channels, when they look at news articles, when they read books, whatever, they're they're gonna learn and they're gonna see that this shit that you're putting out is just 
it's just not worth it. So for me, when you put a video out like that, it's like these desperate times. Let's put a vid. Let's just let's just bang this shit out. You know, some it'll get views. For me, that's that says to me that you don't care about ufology. So I like your channel, boys. I do. I like I like Security Intense channel. I like Third Face's channel. I think they're entertaining. But I think if you're gonna get serious about it, and you you. You get with half a million subscribers. God, if I had half a million subscribers, I would do so much with this channel. I feel, I feel like you're letting it all just go to waste, and you, you're letting the haters hate on you, and it's your own fault. There is real research to be done. There really is when it comes to this subject. But looking at somebody's Facebook picture of the reflection of the phone or ceiling light in the car or whatever it is, it's it's bullshit. So I think you just need to kind of rethink it and start putting some real shit out there. The documentary, I've said this before, it, it's a decent documentary, you did a good job on it. You could do more things like that in small little videos rather than giving us some stupid Facebook picture and saying that this is some sort of massive craft. Massive bell end, that's what I say. Get real boys. Good night, God bless. I'm Alien Addict. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>